So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So what I have here today is the 2023 Toyota Light Ace panel van. So never late than never, I have the panel van with me here because I featured around almost last year the Light Ace pickup top. So that will be a separate walk around review. And speaking of that car, so I'd like to thank again here Sari Basilio and Toyota Pasong Tamo. As you can see in the background, there's a lot of Light Aces at the moment because there's a business event here. So we have all of the Light Aces here. So we have yet again the pickup truck right behind this the fx i actually like that one so it will be an ideal commercial vehicle and we have the cargo van there's a coffee shop tea cafe over here it is perfect for that so i decided to cover this panel van one because it was one of the first two that was released here in the philippines along with a pickup version and finally i am going to drive this yes there is a test drive of this light ace panel van so i cannot wait to drive it anyway so like all light aces it has the cute and distinct look with the short overhangs here and yet again like with all light aces you have black plastic bumpers over here halogen lights and the same set of steel wheels but for this panel van it is a little bit smaller than that of the pickup truck at 165 the pickup had only 175 wheels what else to talk about it's a pretty simple van so on the side profile too it looks like a loaf of bread and for once for this panel van it is pretty tall as you can see so as well opening the rear cargo space you can fit a lot of stuff in this so yeah it hides the looks of being a small car while it can carry a lot of stuff so as you can see from this rear shot you can fit numerous boxes teddy bears so on and so forth so the rear as well is actually pretty hilarious too it looks like a mini version of the high super grandia and yeah what else to talk about so let's go to the interior so here now is the interior of this light ace panel van. I mean it echoes because there's literally nothing in here at the rear. So a few more things I noticed with this light ace panel van. This has dual sliding doors meaning you can open this left side and on the right side too which is pretty cool for a van this size and the rear door opening it's really light like to the point you can close it like a normal door well speaking of door in the door card it's pretty simple it's exactly the same like in all light as yes, even the pickup truck it has simple door cards here and there and you can actually close it pretty easily like just like this that's a pretty shot already sorry timmy <laughs> And haven't seen this again in a while. Manual opening windows. I missed that feature. And the seats over here. Yeah, my case will still stand. It looks like the fabric seats of my Toyota Corolla. I don't mind it though. And for once, I was able to open the engine. It's pretty difficult, but I finally got to open it. So powering all light aces still, it's a one and a half liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine that produces 97 horsepower and 134 newton meters of torque. And there is only one transmission available for all light aces. It's this five speed manual transmission. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm really excited to drive this now. So what I missed too from the light ace pickup walk around review that the power is only sent to the rear wheels. <laughs> I'm not skid this later, I promise you that. So yeah, here in the interior, pretty simple again. Exactly the same throughout all light aces. So you have surprisingly for this panel van, you have electronic stability control here on the left side and you have a cup holder above along with an air conditioning vent. Surprisingly somewhat fits my big water jug. Here in the steering wheel, it's a steering wheel, there's no buttons, but looks like there was supposed to be. I'm not sure if you have buttons in other markets but anyway at least the steering wheel is still a steering wheel you have an all analog instrument cluster well there's a digital one on the right side so i'll know later in the test drive again so for that one two three there in the speedometer there's a comment that actually said that's the rpm speed i'll know later on because there are some reviews say that it's just there for what display only because this is kind of slow I'll, I'll be the judge of that later. So here in the center stack, you have a radio, a blank button, air conditioning button, a fancy hazard button. I actually like that. And on the right side of the gear shift, you have your air conditioning controls. They're all knobs. And further down below, I haven't seen this since, well, my car. Well, a 90s Toyota in general. You have a 12 volt socket way underneath and you have an ashtray. Actually, I use my ashtray to put my phone. All right. Can it fit my phone? Where is my phone? Okay, here you are. Ah, uh, no. I mean, yeah, it, it does the job still. So, yeah, I, I might use it if I were to get this panel van. More thoughts on this panel van later on too. 
So here on the right side, you have a cubby space, another cup holder, glove box. Okay, that's pretty big. And then above here, you have lights. I don't know why this is not working for some reason. Sun visor with a ticket clip holder. Does not extend, but as you can see, it covers all the way. So the sun will not get into my eyes at all. So I'm so so. I don't mind it. So here in the middle, you have a manual handbrake and more stuff on the rear cargo. Yeah, I can literally stand, almost stand there with ease. There's been a price increase too with all ITAs, it's not just for the pickup truck. So this one now costs 695,000 pesos, which is actually not too bad at all. So yeah, that's about it. Let's go for a drive. So unexpectedly driving this light ace panel van, the clutch is like really light. Actually, it's pretty easy to move it forward wow okay surprisingly it's not bad i mean it's almost as powerful as my car <laughs> of course minus all the weight wow this is good the clutch is really light the of course being a toyota the gear shift is really notchy but i guess say that's given and the brakes Okay, surprisingly pretty good too. It's not mushy. Actually, it's just right. And body lean, yeah, there is. Of, of course, it's a it's a van. But this is the other thing I didn't mention even before with the light ace pickup truck. That all of the light aces are equipped with electronic power steering. So this thing is really really light. So I was expecting this to be hydraulic too, but surprisingly it isn't. I mean, my hydraulic steering is light, but this one's had lighter but it still kind of gives the same feeling and yeah the going back to the gear shift i didn't i don't mind the layout that is here on the the, the dashboard reminds me of an abart 595 i mean it's not an abart 595 but it kind of is very similar okay the bind of the clutch is pretty high but it's really soft so it makes up for it at least The pickup of it is pretty good. I mean, of course, you still have 134 newton meters of torque. Picks up pretty good. It sounds good too. Oh yeah, and the uh, one, two, three in the center dashboard, a uh, center instrument cluster. Yeah, I don't think it's indicating anything to be honest. They, I know you all guys said it's an RPM reading, but I don't think it is. It's too slow for what it is, but it ain't too bad too. And then here in this gas station, you know me, test out the suspension and everything else. Okay, it ain't too bad. Socks up bumps, just alright too. And as well, maneuverability. Of course, I got dry, get used to driving big but vans, pickup trucks. This one's so easy to drive around in the city. And then I don't see any adjustments for the steering as well. It's as is. Okay, that's a little bit of a bummer. The only thing you can adjust to is the sitting position. Oh, okay. Now I found a big problem. The since there are no windows on the side panels of the door. Excuse me. <laughs> this is actually fun to drive. I got up to see it pretty quickly, yeah. So, so apologies for the camera angle. Yeah, that uh, this is the other thing I have to complain about. The cabin in here, like from where my knees are to the dashboard, it's kind of tight in here. So there's no space a bit for the camera. It even fell down. But so, anyways, so the big problem I found with this panel van, since there you don't have any windows on the the panel on the side at all. Yeah, the blind spot is yeah really bad. However, though, it's a short van you'll get used to it pretty quickly but you have to watch out for that i mean look at the back there isn't there's no windows whatsoever you only can see from the rear is through the rear view mirror and the back window itself that's it of course being a five-speed manual transmission the gearing is pretty long but yet again it makes up for it for the torque Actually, I didn't expect this at all. It is literally fun to throw around. <laughs> I don't know why I'm enjoying this. So, I'm 
well, I cannot give any fuel economy figures because as you can see in this shot, there is literally no what fuel indicator whatsoever. The only thing you can tell is the fuel warning light. That's pretty much it. But of course, being a one and a half liter engine from Toyota, you won't have an issue. So another thing that this light is makes up for, since you don't have any windows in the back, is the front visibility. It is excellent throughout. I know the A pillar here is a little bit big, but it not it's not too bad. And as well being the light is like what I said earlier, with the short overhang, seeing up throughout at front is not too bad. So I got a little bit. Uh, <laughs> weirded out at first that I'm kind of tailgating someone because I forgot there's no hood in this. Of course, NVH. It's a panel van. I'm, I'm willing to forgive it here and there. Okay, here's another thing I noticed too with this light is. Yes, the engine is underneath my ass. Okay? Let's not forget that. The It's not as bad as you think. Of course, my butt now feels warm. But... If you can just put an extra cushion over here, you won't feel any heat whatsoever coming through the engine. So that's what I know improved from the previous generation light ace. So kudos on Toyota with that. So here another NVH test so to see how good or bad is here at this Pasong Tamotan. Okay, not too bad. Not too shabby at all. Now, something I didn't expect too with this light ace is the comfort. I mean, it soaks bumps and humps pretty well, surprisingly. Yeah, despite the narrow tires and the smaller tires, since these are running on 165s compared to the 175s of the pickup truck, feels more or less, it will be the same. I forgot I have not driven the pickup truck. So actually, I'm very curious on how the light is pickup truck will drive. And as well, going back to the price, 695,000 pesos, not too bad at all. I like it. Would I want one personally? At the moment, yes. But what I really want though is the passenger van. This body, but with I don't know how many seats you can fit in here. 11 more seats? I don't know. If you get my point, that I want this body, but with more seats. That's the brand I actually like. That's not yet available in the Philippines yet. And then turning circle of this. Of course, it's a little car. Not too bad. Oh yeah, so that's how you make up with the turning circle of this. You have to look from here. You have to, you have to do that because I can't see from the back. Okay, performance diving dynamics wise, I have nothing to complain about. Surprisingly, pretty easy and pretty good too. The torque of this is surprisingly good. Yeah, it pushes you forward. But up, I know some reviews already, like around the car park, it says it's slow. Yes, it is, but yet again, it's not too bad. 97 horsepower, 134 newton meters of torque in this body. It's perfect. So, what else to say? Would I want one now? I think I would get the panel van, then probably customize anything there in the back myself. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, this is actually an ideal next car for me. It's in my budget too. You never know if I'll get one or not. So, on that note, that concludes my review of this Toyota Light Ace panel van. So I'd like to thank them so much, along with Sir Ray Basilio and Sir Irwin over here. His contact details are right here. And if you like a Toyota, you can contact either of them. And you never know, you might bring home a Light Ace or any other Toyota home soon. So, hope you guys like and subscribe and I will see you with more Toyota reviews and something later on in the day. Bye-bye.